which is the correct IUPAC name for this compound. So here we have a Newman projection and then we have names. So what we have to do first is we have to go from the Newman projection and write out our molecule, which will make it much easier to name it. Let's say that this is here is carbon number one. So I'm going to call it carbon number one. And I can see that my carbon number one is connected to three things. It's connected to a methyl group, CH3, and I'm just going to write it randomly. It's also connected to a hydrogen, and it's also connected to CH, CH32. And CH, CH32 looks like this, C with an H, and then it's connected to two CH3 groups. Next, I'm going to go ahead and write the carbon behind it. We can see it, but let's call that carbon, carbon number two. What is connected to carbon number two? What is behind it? Carbon number two is connected to two hydrogens. So I'm just going to connect it to two hydrogens. And it's also connected to CH2CH3. So I'm going to write CH2CH3. So again, what I did is I looked at each carbon separately. First, the carbon in the front is connected to a methyl group, a hydrogen, and the isopropyl group, which is CHCH32. Behind it is the carbon that's connected to two hydrogens, and it's also connected to an ethyl group, CH2CH3, which is what I wrote. At this point, you can name it, but I find the line angle formula is much easier to look at to name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw my molecule with the line angle formula. So here I have two carbons, let me just redraw it. Let's say this is carbon one, carbon number two, and then carbon number one has a methyl group and it also has an isopropyl group, carbon attached to two methyl groups, carbon attached to methyl groups. I'm not going to show the hydrogens. Carbon number two has two hydrogens. I won't show it and then an ethyl group. So two more carbons, one, two. So that's my molecule. Next, I'm going to name it, and to name our molecule, we first start by looking at the longest continuous carbon chain. So my longest continuous carbon chain would be something like this, right? This is the longest continuous carbon chain, or I could have went that way. This carbon chain is one, two, three, four, five, six, six carbons means that I have, a, I have to use the prefix hex. Hex is six, six carbons. So I, it must be hexane. So I can get rid of this because it's pentane. And I can get rid of this because this is propane. I must end in hexane. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to number. We number from the end closest to the first substituents. This is my longest carbon chain, which is the parent chain, and these are my substituents. Which end is closest to the first one, left or right? And I can see left one is closest because if I number from the left, I get the first substituent on carbon number two. From the right, it will definitely be further along. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six. On carbon number two, I have a methyl group. So I'm going to call it to methyl, methyl group on carbon number two. On carbon number three, I also have a methyl group, three methyl. So putting it all together, since they're the same groups, they're both methyls, we will write two comma three dimethyl. Our name should be two three dimethyl hexane, which must be choice A. This is Maya Lucci from Transformation Tutoring, and I really hope that you found this video helpful.